In this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything you'd ever want to know about the engine, and all of that's contained in one central location, and that is the multifunction display on the left half column. And what we will see here is that we've got the engine tachometer. Below that, we've got the fuel flow measured in gallons per hour from a fuel flow sensor. Here we've got the oil pressure. We have the oil temperature. We have the exhaust gas temperature. And the little one inside of this moving uh, indicator tells us that it's the EGT right now for the hottest particular cylinder, which in this case is cylinder one. Here we've got the vacuum for the, uh, the suction level, and that's in the green. Here we've got fuel quantity in gallons for the left and right tanks. We've got the engine hours, which tells us how long the engine's been running. We've got the electrical information, so we've got the main and essential bus in voltages, in volts, and then we also have the battery for the main and standby as measured in amps. Now, the only other alternative is what if we have a failure and we go into reversionary mode. Here we can see now we're in the reversionary mode where the primary flight display basically gets rid of the multifunction display. Maybe one of the units went bad, but notice all the engine information is still exactly the same. The only difference is that your moving map is now gone and you see the artificial horizon and the other primary flight display instruments. But other than that, nothing's really changed. So that's all there is to it. It's very simple and I'm using the Garmin Integrated Flight Deck Trainer which is 30 bucks from the Garmin website.